They want to win over Wilkes. First time in six years. Well, no matter how this game ends up, you know, the MVP is already Corey Lavin because what he's done for the Monarchs today has kind of set the tone on every single drive. He's running hard. He's throwing the ball to the right areas. That, you know, when, he, when he's able to, they haven't thrown very much, but, you know, he's just willing his team at this point. Kings offensive line, only seven sacks coming in. Lavin negated one there. Here comes the pressure, and he's going to be hit from behind is Lavin. And that's Walter Paps on the blitz, out of Scranton, and he just got it away. Boy, Walter Paps has grown. I remember him in high school. He was like five foot nine, 175 pounds. <laughs> he's a... He's a big kid now. He's, he's kind of kind of had a late growth spurt. Six foot, 215 pounds. He's a sophomore. He looks solid in those pads, that's for sure. Colonel's defense, are they up to the test? Or can the Monarchs offense push it in again? Lavin on the shotgun. As for Bitsky, Wide open. open. In the corner. Touchdown. That's number five, I should say. Matt Eli, he had wide open. A senior with a touchdown. Matt Eli. Well, Verbinski put his hands up in the back of the end zone and ran across it. But then number five came out and just did a little run across the goal line. And he was wide open forever. Everybody's like, throw it. And finally the touchdown. There's been a problem all game. These extra points and field goals, but the riddle. Gets it down, Slotek handles it, and it's up and it's good. And Kings extends their lead now 26-17. It's live college football on Fox 56 Wolf TV.